This kid from Horseshoe Heroes literally wrote an article with the headline, quote, is the Lucas Oil turf partially to blame for Andrew Luck's concussion, end quote. He literally wrote an article with that as the headline. Yeah, let's blame the turf. Let's not blame the fact that Andrew Luck's been hit 77 times. Let's not blame the fact that Andrew Luck's been sacked 35 times, the most in the National Football League, in 10 games. Let's blame the turf. Let's blame the helmet. Let's blame the fact that Andrew Luck's balding and he doesn't have hair to protect his skull. I mean, let's just blame everything. His shoes weren't tied tight enough. I mean, are these people serious? Could you be this stupid? What about this dude Dan Dockage last week? He had a 15-minute interview with Ryan Gritchen. I thought I had a concussion when I was done listening to it. He must have said that Ryan Gritchen was terrific 15 times. He literally said at the end, Ryan Gritchen's terrific. This guy's terrific. He's absolutely terrific. I mean, imagine just saying that right now. I'm pretty sure I burned a hole through my tongue. Like, I can't believe... I got to go wash my mouth out with holy water. Just imitating that guy saying that Ryan Gritchen's terrific. It's just incredible how stupid the Indianapolis media is. I mean, let's blame the turf. You're getting drilled by a 300-pound man into the ground. You can't possibly make the turf soft enough to absorb that kind of blow. I actually think the turf's fantastic. This man's been hit 452 times in 65 career games, and he's only been diagnosed with one concussion. So as far as I'm concerned, we have great turf. We got some of the best turf in the National Football League. You know, how dare we point the finger at the offensive line? We got to find an excuse. Our defense sucks. Let's blame Andrew Luck's contract. Andrew Luck gets a concussion. Let's blame the turf we play on. Give me a friggin' break. Andrew Luck's now been sacked 150 times through 65 career games. If you want to compare that to Peyton Manning, his 150th career sack didn't come until his 126th game. Andrew Luck, 65 games. Peyton Manning, 126 games. It is so amazing to me that people are actually trying to make excuses that it's the turf's fault. Not the fact that Andrew Luck's been the most hit quarterback since 2012. Not the fact that Andrew Luck's been the most sacked quarterback this season in the National Football League. Not the fact that he had a ruptured internal organ and fractured ribs last year, yet they still couldn't put an offensive line around him. Not the fact that he's been sacked 150 times through 65 career games, but the fact that the turf is too hard. Could you imagine if somebody said that in Philadelphia? Oh, Carson Wentz got a concussion because the field's too hard. They'd be out there laying cars on fire and stuff. It's just incredible how bad the Indianapolis media is. And it takes away my focus from how much I hate Ryan Gritch and Chuck Pagano. How in the world? They actually came out this year and put a worse offensive line on the field. Just when you didn't think it was possible. Just when you thought the offensive line couldn't get worse. Coming off a season where we lost Andrew Luck for nine games with a ruptured internal organ and fractured ribs, yet we somehow come out in 2016 with a worse offensive line. It's really not even possible. I mean, I can't believe we're talking about this right now. Right now we're sitting here at 5-5 and in the worst division in football with an elite quarterback. At 5-5. and 0-4 against teams above 500. 5-1 and against teams under 500. In the worst division in football. If these guys are back next year, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Could you imagine if we're going through this crap again next year? Right now we're sitting at 5-5. Five and five. Let's say this team makes the playoffs at 7-9 and nine, or at 8-8. Eight and eight. Is Jim Irsay going to bring these two morons back? They've been here for five freaking years. This is year five of this crap. Year five. One, two, three, four, five. If we're lucky enough to have Andrew Luck for 15 years, which is probably not going to happen because this guy's about to die in the friggin' field, and that's what it might take to get these guys fired. But let's say we're blessed enough to have Andrew Luck for 15 years. One-fifth of that career is already over, and we're wasting the prime years of Andrew Luck's career with the worst general manager and the worst head coach in the National Football League. Jim Mercedes got to sell this team. If he doesn't want to be a real owner and he doesn't want to make real changes, sell the friggin' team. You are in no shape to be an owner of an NFL team right now. This guy's 50-something years old. He looks like he's in his 90s. The guy's an absolute train wreck. And I am so nervous that he brings these two morons back in 2017. And we're going through this again. Bottom five offensive line. Bottom five defense. Andrew Luck's the most sacked quarterback in the National Football League. Andrew Luck's all banged up. Questioning, do we even want to make the playoffs if that means these guys are back? 
I don't want to be going through this again. I can't go through this again. I've gone through this for two years. I can't go through this again. I can't be sitting here a year from today, as I was a year ago today, talking about will Ryan Gritch and Chuck Pagano get fired after this season. I can't do it again. I can't do it in 2017. These guys have to go. Ryan Gritch and Chuck Pagano have to go. Jim Mersey has to wake the hell up and fire these guys. Get them the hell out of Indianapolis. I can't take it anymore. I can't stomach it. I want to win Super Bowls. Are people satisfied with our 5-1 and one mark against teams under 500? Who watched the 2006 Super Bowl team get honored at halftime? That's what I want. Beating Tennessee means nothing to me. I don't give a damn about Tennessee. We've been in Tennessee 11 consecutive times. We've been in Tennessee 16 out of our last 17 meetings. A win against Tennessee means absolutely nothing to me. It's like a bye week. It's what it should be at least. But of course we have to make it interesting. Blowing 21 point leads. Give me a friggin' break. Fire Gritchin. Fire Pagano. Get him the you know what out of Indianapolis. I can't stomach it. I can't stomach the media. I don't want to hear how great we are against the AFC South. And let's not forget to mention that we blew games to the Jaguars and the Texans this year. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. We are 5-5 five and five in the worst division in the National Football League with an elite quarterback. 5-5 five and five is mediocre. When you're 5-5 five and five with an elite quarterback who's playing at an extremely high level, you're trash. You're absolutely trash. And if the fan police come after me and tell me I'm not a real fan, go to friggin' hell. You hear the passion in my voice. Nobody loves the Colts more than I do. And yeah, I'm happy when they win, but guess what? I want to see them win in February. I want to see a friggin' Super Bowl. I don't want to keep winning these meaningless games against the AFC South, hover around 500, and wonder if we're going to make the playoffs.